I dare you to stomp your foot and take a stand. Let the devil see you do it again. Stomp your foot. I'm going to stay in place because I'm building something. I'm working on a building not made by hands. It's eternal into heaven. And if you stay with God, he'll build your strength. You got to know your own story. If you're going to make something out of nothing, you got to know your own story. You got to know that the same God who saved you five months, five years, ten years, twenty years ago. He's not changed his mind. He saved you for something and gave you your own story. We may not all have come out of drug addiction. Or we may not all have been alcoholics. We may not all have been whores and pimps. But God gave us all a story. And whatever your story is, he saved you to keep your story. He gave you Joseph, a story of a dream where everybody was bowing down. Joseph went to a pit, went to prison, but by the time he got to the palace, everybody bowed down. He told David he was going to be king and that was going to be his story. He went from a shepherd farmer to the king Saul's house. Had to run out of Saul's house to save and survive his own life. He lived in the wilderness for 20 years, but when it was all over, they crowned him king. Grab that neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, I got a story. The old folks said it this way. Shake that hand real good. The old folks said it this way. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. I got anybody in here that got a story. You don't know like I know. You can't tell it like I can tell it. He picked me up. He brought me out. He take my heart. I looked at my hands. My hands look new. I can't preach it like I feel it. But tell that neighbor I got a story. Say Y'all sit down. Sit, sit. You got to learn. That I was saved to keep the family saved. I went through to get, a, to get this anointing. I got a story from God. You got to comply with God's command. And make up your mind you're standing in God's strength. You're standing in the right strength. At the right time. In the right place. And then you got to know I'm trying to close. That whatever the enemy meant for evil. God's going to make it good. You got to know as you stand. You got to learn how to celebrate what's going on and how it's going to end. You got to rejoice always. That's what Paul says. He says rejoice always. And again I say rejoice because after you take a stand, after you comply with God's command, you got to roll back your shoulders and say and. There's something that comes from the word and. And is used as a connection Action. Lord have mercy. So when you say and, you're waiting for something to connect with it. So when you say I'm going through and, let me see if I can help you out. When you say and, Lord have mercy, you're saying to yourself, the Lord got something else up the road for me. Because and is used as the word to connect. In other words, it said something like this. He finished and went to bed. So let's make it spiritual. Hmm. It's over and I won. Let's make it spiritual. I'm through with it and I got the victory. Let's make it personal. The devil tried it and it didn't work. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, and, and I'm still here. And I still got my right mind. And I still got peace. And I still 
still got joy. Say yes. Say yes. Lord have mercy. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And I shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. I sought the Lord. And he heard me and delivered me from all my troubles. You got to put an in the middle of what you're going through. He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases their strength. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart. You got to celebrate how it's going to turn out. You got to remember with every struggle and trial, there's an end that goes with it. I cried all night and joy is coming in the morning. Lord have mercy. The first shall be last and the last shall be. You got to get happy with your end and know that God is connecting every piece of your life together. When Paul finishes the letter, he tells them that if they could put on the whole armor of God and rejoice in the Lord, God's going to work something out wonderful for the Ephesian church. What you got to know about the church at Ephesus, they were not like the church at Galatia. They were not like the church at Corinth. They were not like the church at Philippi because Paul talks to them because they seemingly have their act together. They seemingly from chapter 1 all the way to chapter 6 stay in relationship with God. And that's my last point. No matter where you find yourself these next few weeks stay in relationship with God and don't let the enemy cause you to mess up and move out of your place. Hold your position and dare to believe that the same God who gave me the command, the same God who's given me strength, the same God who's connecting it all together said this in Romans and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. This is the last time. Talk to the neighbor eyeball to eyeball and say, neighbor, all of it, every bit of it is working together for my good. And I know that I am more than a conqueror through him that loved me. If that's your testimony, put your hands together and celebrate your end. Everyone standing. And we know it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know you've got something to connect every element in your life and it's connected with Anne because in every situation, thank you, Jesus, God gives a pivotal point for restoration, for reconciliation for victories that we don't have to fight all Paul was saying to them is hold your ground whatever you have been successful in whatever areas you've accomplished whatever areas you've come through stay there hold your ground I got this one Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. (laughs) Put on the whole armor. Thank you, Jesus. And having done all to stand, stand therefore and stand.
って。